Hey everybody, welcome back to my shop. I'm Brian. Today we're testing these buggers. Solder seal connectors. Splice of wire with no soldering gun. So, a couple weeks ago, I used the last of my heat shrink tube, splicing some wires on my trailer, needed some more. So I go on Amazon, searching for a good deal. Before I check out, I see this ad, and I think, hey, I've never seen this before. Solder, splice, heat shrink tube, all rolled into one tiny little convenient package. Using only a heat gun? Come on, sounds too good to be true. I mean, you can't swing a dead cat without some useless junk they sell on the internet or some other worthless product that's quietly faded into obscurity. Like, you remember the Yugo, right? Probably not. Or how about Cheetos flavored lip balm? I mean, really, what were they thinking? So unlike any other adventurous but ill-advised consumer, I took the plunge, jumped in with both feet, risked my hard-earned 23 bucks and ordered some. Hey, free shipping too. How can you pass that up? Getting to the point here, I thought I'd check them out, see how they compare to the time-tested, dependable soldered wire splice. And you know, keep an open mind. After all, I'm an objective guy. I object to everything. So that's what this video is about, guys. In true builds with kind style, guaranteed to amuse, confuse, and of course, waste your precious time with essentially useless information. Okay guys, now for the results. Um, here's what I found for the 18 gauge wire. Um, three of them broke, just all shy outside of the solder joint. The real solder joint that is, um, with the 50-50 electronic solder. The solder joint is perfectly fine. Uh, it, no problem with it. It, it held good. Um, the wire broke. I don't think the wire is as strong as this solder joint, it, at least for this gauge of wire. So three of them broke there, and two of them out of the five we tested broke actually at the solder seal joint. And it's kind of hard to see, 
my camera will focus. You can see it's it's kind of a, the strands pulled out of the center and they snapped and the solder joint basically failed. Um, look at that solder. It's kind of like not all the way through. It's it, it's most of the way through, but not all the way through, and it's kind of uh, crappy. I mean, I don't know. So, look at that. I mean, I don't think you should be able to do that with solder. It looks like it's a cold, more brittle solder. So, the 16 or 18 gauge wire, you know, it worked. Uh, it took quite a bit of force to do that. I mean, I wouldn't hesitate to, to use these. I, I, I actually recommend these guys, but I'm giving you the results here. After my tests, uh, I, I find them to be pretty good. Here's the, obviously the butt crimp, you know, just the solderless connector. Yeah, utter failure. I mean, only use these, you know, in an emergency uh, and fix it later if it's got to last, because it, it won't. They pull two pounds of force maybe, it pulled right out. Also, if you want to try skipping the heat gun and using a uh, little butane torch or a Bic lighter to do this instead of a heat gun, eh, yeah, don't, don't even do it. Uh, it melts the solder, but it burns the outside heat shrink jacket and that'll compromise your waterproofing. Onto our 14 gauge wire, obviously heavier wire. Um, all five of them failed at the solder seal joint, all five. So, and, and the joint was failure was pretty much the same as it was for the, uh, the 18 gauge. It basically either pulled out of that solder or the solder fractured and, and you know, just failed. I, I think the problem here is that this solder doesn't flow all the way into the joint. It, it, it kind of goes around the outside. It just doesn't penetrate. You can see it, maybe this one's better. I cut the jacket back. I'm trying to look through the camera at the same time, guys. This is kind of difficult. But there you go. You see that? That solder is like crumbling away. Look at that. It's not all the way through. So, okay, for the 14 gauge wire, obviously the solder joint is much stronger, just like with the 18 gauge wire, the real solder joint. I mean, let's cut one of them open and you can see in the cross section, you know, that solder goes all the way through. It is intertwined in there. That is a strong joint, but you know, also probably stronger than it needs to be. Uh, I think that the, uh, the solder seal low temperature is definitely uh, strong enough. Uh, and that heat shrink tubing is quite tough. If you noticed, where's that one that really stretched? Look at that. That stretched that far before it failed. That's some pretty strong stuff. I mean, I, I couldn't break this by hand. You know, it, I, I bet you, I think I was putting about 50 pounds of force on, uh, on the wires before they broke maybe more with the 14 gauge and you just really you're not going to put that kind of sh you know stress on a, on a wire anyway so that's why i say i think these things are, are 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 great on the 12 gauge wire here you can see it is the same basic thing as the others and it took even more force to break this well actually i don't maybe it didn't it it, it wasn't as much as i thought for the 12 gauge wire but again it's really the solder that didn't penetrate all the way through. And maybe that's just a characteristic of this low temperature solder that you can use a heat gun for. It, it doesn't flow as good and, and penetrate in. Well, I don't know if I need to say anything more about that. So the conclusion is, uh, I like them. I, I think I'm going to get them when this set runs out, which probably won't be very long. Uh, I use quite a few of them for this test because um, I have to do this all the time, uh, fixing, you know, uh, uh, lights on the trailer or the boat trailer, or I have to put some um, utility lights on my tractor. Uh, I've already done it on my side-by-side. -side. Um, what can be better than this? Heat shrink, solder, all wrapped into one little package. Twist the wires together, hit it with a heat gun, and you're done. 
I mean, obviously the solder joint is better, but good enough is good enough. I got this brand off of Amazon.com, um, and the only reason I selected this brand was because it had the quantities of the two the sizes I use the most common, 22 to 18, and you know 16 to 14. It had a higher quantity of those, so that's why I bought this. I'll, I'll have a link in the Amazon link down in the description box if you're interested in buying this particular brand. Other than that, just you know, do a Google search. I haven't seen them in any auto parts store or hardware store yet. I don't know how new these really are on the market, but I'm sure they'll be coming there eventually. Um, right now, I've only seen them online or on amazon.com. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you find it useful. Please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below if you have anything interesting to say about this, any input, if you've used these, how they work for you, whether you love them, hate them, let me know in the comments below. And until the next video, take care.